Hey guys, it's Tech Talk for the win, and this is my review of the Beats by Dr. Dre Studio. Alright, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to be basing this off of three categories, looks, durability, and performance. But uh, first of all, I'm going to go and get into looks. I mean, these look really good, very, I don't know, they're just gorgeous. I mean, they're awesome. They fit really snug around your ear. They're very comfortable. Um, it matches my iPod really well with the black case, the red, the black and red really bring out some awesome colors and uh, like anyone wearing these headphones would look really cool. So um, with looks I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. Uh, they bend really easily, fit right into the case. So I mean looks I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. These um, definitely look really really cool. Now, before I go any further, I just want to confirm that these are real. I know I got them for under $200, but um, I've already done all the checking. Uh, it has the recycling information here. Um, here, let me twist this off. The battery cap, it has the Dr. Dre's and my serial number and everything. So, uh, these are real. Um, aren't fake so uh, this isn't gonna be like a biased review or anything but uh, so I'm just gonna go right into durability um, they feel pretty cool they're uh, made out of plastic they're kinda like wobbly I guess but um I guess they're supposed to be that way but they have a nice cool metal logos and um I mean they feel pretty good but uh they're not like the Beats Pro which you feel very safe that they're never going to break and I've seen people breaking them by just putting them on their heads and taking them off so I'm going to give the durability a 4 out of 5 but uh... yeah I mean they're pretty durable and they're really nice headphones now performance they come with two cables um, that you just plug in to here um, it only goes into one ear. It comes with this one and a black version, which has this little control talk button that um, I already broke, obviously. But I think it's they're pretty good. And uh, you can also plug in this cable um, if your like car has like an aux uh, entrance, then it could just easily go and you can play like the music into your car speakers which is pretty cool if you don't if you're tired of listening to your headphones uh, but I have noticed with these headphones that um, uh, they're turned on but uh, when the noise cancelling is on and uh, nothing's playing there's a lot of white noise in the background uh, it's kinda like annoying if you're like listening to music very softly so it kinda gets really annoying and also when they're plugged into my computer you hear this like kinda buzzing every I don't know, 25 seconds that lasts for maybe one to four seconds, and it it gets pretty annoying that I even had to like unplug them for a while because it just got really badly on my nerves. I haven't noticed it so much with my iPod, but on my MacBook Pro, yes, there has been a lot of like buzzing, kind of like a bumblebee. The noise canceling on these headphones is mediocre. It doesn't even compare to the Bose Quiet Comforts. Those are like a lot better than these, and even cheaper. But I mean, the the noise canceling on them is pretty good, and uh, I'd give the noise canceling maybe a four out of five. Uh, next is the bass, and um, I wish there was some kind of customizable like thing with, on the bass because um, these Skull Candies headphones they were forty bu forty five bucks, and they have this uh, you can like slide the bass up as high as you want, which I kind of miss because. Sometimes you want the bass like really loud or you don't want it at all, which is a uh, pretty, like, it's a setback on the headphones. When you're playing a song uh, on your right ear cup, you can press the Beats by Dr. Dre logo to mute it for a while. Um, that's, that's a pretty cool feature and here you can turn off and on the noise canceling. And it, to turn this on, you this is required for the headphones to even work. Something that I was actually surprised with was the cleaning cloth, was like the disinfectant and stuff. It actually worked uh, surprisingly well, as you can see. Uh, it's pretty smudged up, but uh, when I clean it up, like there's actually a very, very noticeable difference, as you guys can see. But overall, uh, durability, looks, performance, I'd give this a four out of five. The performance is kind of—I mean, I was disappointed. I didn't expect them 
to be as bad as they are. I mean, they're still really good, and uh, I think they're worth maybe like two hundred fifty dollars. I definitely do not think that they're worth the hefty price tag. But guys, thanks for watching. Please watch my two latest videos. I have two giveaways going right now, ending pretty soon. So if you guys want to enter, just click the annotations. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.